so far we've found more than 400 planets around other stars. Unfortunately, for many years to come, we won't be able to see them as anything more than dim points of light. If only the planets that we know best could help us learn more about the real worlds behind those dim points of light. Well, it turns out they can. Remember the Deep Impact mission, the NASA spacecraft that slammed a probe into a comet in 2005? Well, now it's headed for another comet. While on its way, we used its instruments to study the amount of red, green, and blue light reflected by Earth, the Moon, and Mars. Combining this color information with similar studies of the other planets in our solar system, we found an interesting pattern. These crosshairs mark the spot where a planet would perfectly reflect all the light from the sun. The more red light a planet reflects, the farther it moves to the right on this chart. The more blue light it reflects, the higher it goes. And if the planet reflects relatively little blue and red light, it falls in the dark section. Viewed in this way, here's where the planets lie. Not surprisingly, Mars, the reddest planet, occupies the reddest spot. Mercury is also nearby in the plot because neither planet has a large atmosphere that scatters blue light. Venus has a thick, cloudy atmosphere that reflects most of the red light and only a little bit of the blue light, so it stays near the bottom. Jupiter and Saturn fall in the darkest region of the plot. Their atmospheres have methane and ammonia in it, which absorb red light, and other gases that absorb blue light. Here's what's really interesting. In this chart, Earth stands apart from all the other planets. Earth is really blue, not because of its oceans, but because it has an atmosphere that reflects a lot of blue light. It makes sense. That's why the sky is blue. At the same time, Earth does reflect a little bit of red light. Long before we have telescopes that will show us what extrasolar planets really look like, we'll be able to measure their colors and put them on the plot. This means we'll be able to tell the difference between alien versions of Mars, Jupiter, and even Earth. And that's something we're looking forward to.